Hello and welcome back. This is UIX Kinguin, and today I want to talk to you guys about headless development, also known as uh, decoupled development. Uh, to, in order to kind of explain what headless means, I think we're going to need to understand what a JSON schema is first. So if we take a look here, I've kind of shoved this uh, JSON object into this file so we can kind of get a look at it. Um, define what it really is it's like kind of like a notation schema that's kind of used to organize data so we can see these data points here and then whatever that data would be uh, it's a it's a standard way of expressing and storing like a relationship between objects uh, when it comes to schemas this is just the json object itself but uh, the json schema will allow us to kind of show that relationship between the objects that we have this is kind of important to know because it's pretty prevalent when it comes to API development or if you don't know what API stands for it means application programming interface the interface part is particularly important because well it helps you interface between different softwares so, so one software that might not be able to talk to another software will be able to using a specific API so moving on from that we can kind of go in to see how this is applicable to other websites. I've made this kind of um, starter website here, and we're gonna take a look at some of the JSON on this website. Um, you can find these JSON files on some of the websites by inspecting the page. So you would right click inspect, and then this would come up. You'd navigate to the network uh, tab, and then you want to filter by XHR right here, and then reload the page. Now, when you reload the page, you're going to get some of these files over here. And then you're going to go ahead and press, uh, so you can see the JSON file here and here. I've already opened it in a different tab here. But as you can see, this is uh, this is all of our JSON here. You can see what we have here. Our meta metadata is here, etc. But all of this content is essentially what we see on the front uh, front end of the page here. It's just stored in a way that's more uh, readable for a, a computer. Um, the reason why that concept in particular is pretty important is because when it comes to headless development, um, it's because JavaScript will end up reading through this stuff here and it will load all of this content onto the page. So what it ends up doing is it ends up I'm sorry for repeating myself. What it ends up doing is that it loads pieces of content, like chunks or components of the website instead of loading the entire page. This kind of allows for you to do development on the front end and the back end, and it allows the two teams to work together much cleaner, if that makes sense. Um, I hope this video has been kind of informative to help you understand at a very basic level what headless development JSON schema uh, really does for you. Most of the times you won't really notice this uh, these things unless you kind of dig a little bit deeper into the site, but it helps uh, a lot of the main sites that you might use on a daily basis run and you just might not notice it. So thank you. This has been UIX Kinguin and I'm out.